This is a book that changed my life, literally. It's called Golf in the Kingdom by Michael Murphy. And um, I remember when I first read it, it was one of those books that blows your mind and opens you to things that you never thought about before. My book, The Legend of Bagger Vance, I basically stole it from Golf in the Kingdom. It was the same sort of story, a sports story into the mystical. Now, a little bit about, about Michael Murphy himself. Michael Murphy comes from a very wealthy family and a very well-educated family. And he, um, during the 60s, land that he owned in Big Sur, he converted into Esalen, the Esalen Institute, if you've heard of that, which was the um, kind of the a real counterculture mecca and uh, cutting edge stuff. It's still in operation. They still do all kinds of deep, you know, uh, interpersonal work and stuff like that. So Michael Murphy was one of the uh, one of the leading lights in the in the original counterculture. But he was also a golfer, and this book, Golf in the Kingdom, is kind of an homage to the mystical aspects of the game. And he tells the story of him. It's told in the first person by Michael Murphy, but it's a fictional Michael Murphy. But it's written so well that as he's telling this sort of crazy story, you believe it. About a pilgrimage that he took to the kingdom, meaning the kingdom of Fife, which is actually a true place in Scotland where St. Andrews, the home of golf is. So, um, and Michael Murphy makes this pilgrimage over there and he encounters a sort of a legendary golf pro mystical crazy guy named Chivas Irons who becomes his mentor and takes him under his wing and teaches him all about the mystical aspects of the game of golf. You don't have to be a golfer to love this. You don't have to be even a sports person, although I would say of the great sports books, this is definitely one of them. It's up at the top with all of them. One of the things they say about sports writing is the smaller the ball, the better the literature. And of course, the golf ball is the smallest ball of all. This is really a terrific piece of literature, Golf in the Kingdom by Michael Murphy.